Hello and welcome to the show. Now, regular viewers will know that I cannot resist the opportunity to drive something silly. And this crazily powerful stubby dune loader really does rather fit the bill. Yes, it does wheelies as you would imagine. And we are going to take it drag racing because I'm very curious to see how it's going to fare here. I think uh, quite uncontrollably. It doesn't really do the most controlled of wheelies. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. I'm going to challenge the graveyard because that's about the only thing out of this lot that I have any sort of confidence. Maybe the AC, um, of even vaguely beating. I don't have a clue. I, of course, before I do any races, I always test a mod to make sure that it is working and so on. And this one is going to drive. It is going to do quite big wheelies. But how it's going to react when, in a racing situation, the performance, things like the perfect shifts are going to give it, is, is anyone's guess. The wheelies are very uncontrolled, and I'm going to have to try and be quite careful. You see, wheelie launches have been a positive in pretty much everything that I've driven in this series so far. Oh, uh, it also doesn't stay still when you're trying to... That's a, that's a new problem. The brakes aren't good enough to uh, hold it still. Right, we've got issues. We've got issues, funnily enough, with the... Oh, there we go. There go the problems. Problems, problems, problems. Please get down. Please get down. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's wheelie, we're, we're, oh this isn't good, this is not good at all, it's very quick, it's very quick but not really controlled. <laughs> Anyone? It's the secondary wheelies, I'm having to apply brakes while doing a drag race, that's not quite what you want to be doing. Um, there's a lot, oh the Serrano wants to race, you don't normally challenge me if I'm not in the area, have people just watched the wheelie truck go and are now deciding yes I want a piece of that. Um, right. This is interesting. Terrifying and interesting. It does, the wheelies we get from this are very, very different to the ones that uh, can be formed by this uh, racing mod. The ones formed by the racing mod actually, oh, bugger me, that's got a big engine. That's why I wanted to challenge me. Um, yeah, the ones the, the mod itself does uh, do give the vehicle a boost performance. This thing is just the way that the car, the handling files for this vehicle are. Now, that does mean that I can get it to come back down again by, well, releasing the throttle, funnily enough, or applying the brakes as I had to there. Uh, but, of course, then I'm going slow and I'm losing... Well, whoa, bloody hell, there's too much power in this. There's way too much power. Ugh. Okay, we can't actually warm the tyres up. They're, they're a legitimate pro. I'm warming my tyres up over here. Serrano, I will come and join in a minute. I've got to warm my tyres up here because we don't hold because it's on a slight downhill and the brakes aren't good enough. The Dune Loader does have rather notoriously terrible brakes. And if we do get this thing to kind of wheelie, even if we don't go in a straight line, the rear frame gets caught on the floor a little bit and it all gets slightly angry. So we've got to try and balance this thing perfectly with uh, speed. You know, don't bet on me. Well, okay, you're all going to lose your money. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> with speed, like putting enough power down to go quickly and having enough control to uh, actually, yeah, do something. Now we have got, ah, I think it's, that Serrano is way too quick for me. We've actually managed to get it off the line now without doing wheelies, which is an improvement. And we are going to set about a second quicker. And boop! It's not as strong as I'd hoped either. <laughs> I kind of expect, I expected the Serrano to go flying. And it didn't. What was that? What was that? That was terrible. Um, well, there we go. We, uh, we, we have some, some speed issues, some control issues. Uh, do I want to race you? Yes, I do, actually. Oh, God, the brakes are not very good. We might go swimming. Oh, the graveyard is going to race the Surge. Probably a fairest of the rest matchups. Right, let's get out of this. Let us challenge the SC, because it's about the only thing I might stand a chance of beating here. Um, there we go. A C will have a race. I, I can't beat the bullets or the... Eh, maybe if it's a very, very bad Karuma... Maybe. I would imagine the bullets in the coquette are going to be far, far too quick for this. Unless I can figure out. And this is going to be a little bit of experimentation to try and figure out what I can and, well, can't do, really, with my with my dune loader monstrosity. Uh, the Surge is actually not a terrible car. I think I've seen this one around a few times. A relatively highly modified Surge. So... We'll see what sort of speed that sets. We know we can beat the graveyard just. We're looking around a 13 second-ish run from me, which is nothing massively spectacular. 
Uh, the surge is um, going. That yeah, see, I told you that's a pretty quick car. That might even be a sleeper-fired one. That's surprisingly fast. Twelve zero from that smashing the uh, graveyard's time. We'll see what the AC can do. Now, actually, a little bit worried about sleeper cars because this thing is unpredictable. It's unpredictable at, um, at best, really. And let's face it. I mean, look at the damn vehicle. Not really surprising. It's not really surprising at all that this might be a little bit unpredictable. <laughs> when you strap a huge engine on the back of a truck and then try and get it to do, well, something, uh, well, normal, it doesn't really tend to end particularly well. Uh, we're probably, I um, have a little bit warm tyres. Uh, might be okay, actually. It might be better having hot tyres on this. We'll get less kind of wheelings and nonsense like so. I, d I don't know. We're still guessing. People are now betting on the SC. Now, the SC, of course, has the age-old front-wheel drive issues of not really getting off the line very well. Uh, whereas I have the uh, not-so-age-old issues of wheelying randomly. That's better. Oh, admit, damn it. That was going to be... Uh, this was going to be a good run. We got it perfect there, actually. We haven't had any secondary phase wheelies. It's all good. It's a 13-7 with at least one mischief. I reckon we can probably get our times down to... Oh, no. <laughs> we can do a little dance after crossing the line. We could probably get our times down to a sub-13 with another... with a perfect run. I think the hot, hotter tyres are a good way to go. The hot tyres are a, a, a helpful way to go in terms of my control of the vehicle. Oh, Christ! There's a bullet there! That, that very, very nearly ended poorly for that uh, <laughs> bullet. Well, I say that, it probably would have just stopped my truck dead because apparently we have no pushing. Do we actually have any pushing power in this whatsoever? Uh, the way it kind of launches is... Ah, uh, well, the problem is, is that it's just going to pick the front up. <laughs> it doesn't push. It just doesn't push vehicles at all. We can go boop and then we don't really do very much and then we can boop again and it's... Nope. Or we can just drive straight over it. Do we challenge the Karuma? Um... <laughs> oh no, we've fallen over. <laughs> oh, no, that's a one wheel twisty wheelie. Um, abandoned ship! Help! I'm a little bit stuck. I'm a very stuck, guys. Anybody got a tow truck? I am a little bit. Whoop! There we go. Somehow I've fixed things. I've fixed things in a roundabout, weird way. We're fine. I'll race the surge because no one else will. Uh <laughs> um. Yeah, that's a thing, apparently. Now, the surge I know is quick. That's a 12-0 from that surge. is going to be very difficult for me to beat, because I don't think I have that level of performance in this in this vehicle. It is standard. Let's not forget this. I haven't modified this as of yet. I wanted to see what the standard vehicle can do, you know? We wanted to see how it would uh, how it would fare. The surge is looking like he's ready. Oh, no morons. Don't stand in front of me. I've got enough difficulty just trying to, you know, drive forwards. Straight lines are tough, but you got to... There we go. Right, we're all past. Everyone, stop being a moron. Don't punch or don't burst the tires because they're too hot. That would be bad. Right, we're going to take every little advantage. No, you're... Oh, thank God for that. You're not as big a fool as I thought you might be. It's rare I say that about any AI ever, but you weren't a complete tool. Okay, off the line we go. It is a good start. Yeah, so the, the hot tires... Oh, I swear I did not miss shift on that one. But there we go. The surge has got too much top end speed for me. There's a lot of you go through a lot of gears in this, but it is another a, another much better run, a much better run from the uh, whoop. <laughs> Just every so often, every so often, we shall, I shall have a celebratory chassis scrape along the floor. Much improved in terms. Well, I say much improved in terms of speed. Definitely, if I got that that shift right, we could have got into the uh, I think into the high twelves. I'm going to head off to a upgrade shop, and we're going to see how much speed we can then get out of the vehicle. Me to perform. Now, hopefully, this can be modified at any normal Los Santos customs. I didn't really bother charging myself something for this. It's kind of a, a rental. I'll give it back, and we'll get rid of it at the end, because I didn't really know if it was going to be any good or any worth keeping. But the money that I spend on, well... You know, upgrading it is going to be gone. The money I make from races or lose from races is uh, going to be gone as well. So, yeah, it's just kind of mess around with a silly thing that um, is, is curious. Now, I don't know whether I want to l put it on 
competition suspension or not. I don't know how this is going to affect the handling. Anything that stops it wheeling is actually going to be helpful here. So I'm thinking we're going to go for that. We're going to go for a race transmission on the thing. We're going to go for a turbo as well. Put the acceleration up to a maximum. I might actually upgrade the brakes while I'm at it. Not that they're going to be very good anyway, but we'll give it a try because why not? Uh, none of this actually costs a huge amount of money either, which is always nice. And that's, as you could imagine, about it. I am kind of curious to see if we go for... Ah, I wonder if that might help it. So we're going to go with muscle wheels on this because, you see, I'm wondering if we get rid of the dual rear wheels, how that might affect things. Uh, I probably don't want to go for custom tyres, come to think of it, because I don't want anything that will help it really more. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll put it back on its standard wheels afterwards, and we'll see. It should now be a little, hopefully, bit better from the launch. Let's see if it will wheelie on its own. Okay, so it will still wheelie on its own, but we're not going to have... If we have it on the right set of tyres, and the game and the mod wants to wheelie it as well, that'll probably confuse stuff. Hopefully, this will be better. Hopefully. Now, who knows what vehicles we are going to end up over here. Last time was actually quite a supercar-heavy meeting. I fancy racing against a Mini. This looks like a more usual selection of vehicles, a more gradual increase in difficulty between different ones. There is a bullet, there is a whatever the green thing is over there, the Mamba or one of them. Um, and that's uh, they're kind of the top cars to challenge the Dukes is also... I've got another bullet as well. Okay, maybe we've got a little bit higher end cars. But there's some more sort of everyday silliness for me to race against, which is kind of what we need. Uh, that Mini can be pretty fast, so we will see how we do against that. We're looking for sub-12 second runs, really. We're not going to compete with the monstrous engine cars. I had kind of hoped that this might have that level of performance. It clearly doesn't. Oh, the Mini's nearly <laughs> fallen over. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have that level of perform. Well, it didn't from from stock, and I doubt. While well, it's going to be quicker now, it's not going to be an eight-second run down here, unless something really, really dramatic has occurred. Here we go. Control, a control launch. It was, there was a little bit of a slow control launch, but there we go. Uh, we are through the gears nicely. This is looking more like it. This is looking much more like it from the vehicle. One spectator is determined to be Kamikaze at the end there, and brakes a 12.3, and that was with a poor start. That was with a poor start, I will say that much. So maybe we can go in the sub, I mean that's area around the surge, whoops, sorry, I got so <laughs> I got a sudden, it wasn't really a wheelie, but I got a sudden unloading of the front wheels that caused my truck to veer across the road. It wasn't me intentionally trying to crash into spectators. As annoying as they can be, I wasn't intentionally trying to crash into them. Uh, who shall we race next? Shall we go for the faction, perhaps? Yeah, we'll give the faction a we'll give the faction a race. Got a decent amount of money on him. Uh, there, the ingot will probably be our next. If we beat the faction. The ingot would probably be slower than the faction, although you never know what engine some of these cars might have. We've got what, Mamba versus faction at the moment going on, I think. Oh, come on, get round a corner, round a corner, round a corner. Steering's not great on this. Uh, <laughs> that's the relatively fast Mamba as well. Is I'm kind of beginning to recognise what cars and, <laughs> and how their level of their level of performance. Certainly, if they're a consistent one for turning up to meet. I say it's a relatively fast Mamba. It's on a 12.2, which is only a tenth faster than this. Beast, I think. I can't even decide what the best name for it is, uh, quite frankly. Shall we try and get back some of the money we have lost in these races uh, with a race against a faction? Uh, a faction tend not to be particularly... Whoops, sorry, sorry, don't worry. Look, I'm trying to get out of the way. I've got to go do my burnouts over here. Uh, do we need to go too hot with the high temperatures again? We didn't get a good launch, but that's because I'm, tr I'm actively trying to be careful to make sure that we don't really... And in that, in that instance, sometimes you end up being a little bit too careful with the launch, and you just don't get the power down necessary to accelerate away. You, moron, can uh, get out of the way. You will get run over. I just don't want it to be during my race, because they will screw up my line and maybe fly me off into the scenery. Okay. Let's try and go for it. It does a lovely flamethrower. I will give it that much. Let's try and go for a little bit more on the old launch front. That was better with slightly... Ah, it's that bobble there that can catch you out. If it's slightly bobbling with a wheelie, 
through there. It will uh, it will want to uh, make you shift up, but it's a very very small window, very difficult one to get correct. That is a terribly slow faction, and for that I was gonna say I'll boop him, but there's not much point because he's not gonna do anything because my car's too busy. Again, not really car. He's too busy wheeling its way around, and uh, that doesn't really help the booping service. If I do get stuck, I'm gonna be absolutely useless. I'm good at driving over it. Oh, forgot how bad the brakes were. Ah, don't go off into the water. I haven't sunk anything yet, which is surprising in some regards. Shall we challenge? We'll challenge the Inga. I'm kind of curious. I'd love to see a uh, sleeper Inga. I don't know if there is any. There is a black and purple one that turns up quite regularly to events that is, I think, are relatively fast and might have a kind of random chance to be a sleeper vehicle. But uh, it would be nice to see. I like the Inga. It's uh, very, very slow in the game normally. Uh, this should be a fairly close race between the pair of them. The bullet, I think, might have had a misshift as uh, it is going to go the way of the Mamba down towards the finish line. Interestingly, neither of them quicker than the times I have set in this. So, I mean, it might be comparable to a entry-level supercar, a high-end muscle car. When it's, when it's fully upgraded, of course. I would assume that the bullet that's running down here... The, well, the speeds that the bullets have been setting are not particularly fast. I would imagine my bullet would be considerably quicker if I was running it down here. Uh, I've also done that mistake of parking... Whoop! <laughs> if you hold down, if you just keep it held, it will wheelie while I'm holding the brake. That is the level of power and nonsense that goes on in this thing. Okay, we're still going for that sub-12. Now we've got the upgrades, I reckon we can go... I reckon we can go a sub-12 if we can get everything right. We just need to not... We need to be able to put down enough power and not get that secondary wheelie! Oh, dear. We're not going to get a sub-12 here. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just crashing through your uh, living room with a wheelie truck. It's fine. Uh, that's actually a relatively fast ingot, the 13.4. It's not the worst time we've seen down here. Uh, it is the worst time going to come from me. And slide, slide, slide. Are we going to do a celebratory? Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Celebratory bump on the floor. That uh, was a... Mm, expected. I, th I think it's probably the best way of saying that. That was expected at some point. The lack of control you have with this. The lack of control with anything, of course, when you have a wheelie. Uh, is uh, never helpful. Oh, I can't stop. Well, I'd rather run you over than the person starting the race. So... And if you're going to run around on a racetrack, be prepared for that to happen. <laughs> anyway, uh-oh. Booby service is required and I don't have an answer. No. The one... I say the one time. Booby service is required many times, but uh, I don't think I can do much to help this faction because I'm just going to want to wheelie over it. Oh, or we're going to go... Why are we doing that? I didn't want you to do that, truck. It, it started turning and just didn't want to stop turning anymore. Uh, come on, please, 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 please. It, oh, that's not... <laughs> Probably a wise idea, get it reset, rather than try and have me flounder around helping. Probably good. Right, shall we have a look? Which one of you has... So you have had a loss, and you have had a not race. Well, we'll challenge the one that's had a loss, because I suspect... I, I say I suspect. I think we can beat it if it all goes according to plan. It's fairly rare for it to all go according to plan, but I'm going to give it a good try anyway. I... Uh, didn't actually pay attention to who was racing. I think it was a Mamba and something else. Might have even been a bullet. Uh, it's going to be victory to a Mamba. Uh, oh, it's a faction. I've heard the name from the faction. Yeah, not blistering times. Not blistering times at all. Let's get our vehicle uh, warmed up, definitely. We're going to go for hotter tyres. Uh, it's the best, the safest way to do things, shall we say. There we go. Get them as warm, let's say, as warm as possible without risking puncturing them. I think, is uh, a good way to go. If you do get it too hot, you will burst your tyres, and then trying to run a drag race with, well, burst tyres, funnily enough, doesn't really work. Uh, depending on how... Ooh, I spy some money down there. We might have to go and steal that. Uh, depending on... like the, I think it's how hot you get them. It doesn't, hasn't happened to me very often, but you can have your tyres burst kind of when you go to set off, so they'll be all right uh, when you're kind of parked. It'll be when you go to set off that you will find out that uh, they got a bit too hot and that they are now uh, no good. So we haven't done that. In fact, I'm surprised I haven't managed to cock up the uh, that 
before in this series. Oh, it's a 12.1. It does beat the bullet, which is... I mean, that's a, that's a supercar. Let's not forget, you know, that is a, a supercar. It is a KDF, yeah, the game's slowest supercar. However, that is beating a supercar. It's not going to beat a monstrous engine vehicle, even though it is quite a monstrous engined machine. Um, but but it is going to beat the uh, the supercars. I bet that money's despawned now. Of course it has. Uh, oh, hello, Mini. Don't mind me. Uh, we'll do one more race. We will do one more race to try and get that elusive, elusive sub 12 second run. And we will go and race against a Mamba. That Mamba does have a win, but I'm fairly sure that was only like a 12.9. Completely useless, this thing? No, it, it's not. Is it very, very silly? Yes. Is it sometimes very difficult to drive? Yes. Are the brakes terrible? Very much so. But that's just a dune loader for you. Uh, definitely entertainment the mini beat the faction that's a really really slow faction that's a really slow faction uh, very very much entertainment this uh, it's, it's as crazy as you would expect it to be relatively fast you know relatively fast speaking if we can beat a mamba we have got the pace to do it that's decent performance in this but you do have to be careful it's one of the fiddliest vehicles I think I've ever driven in this series. You've got to be so mindful with the wheelie, so mindful with the launch and in many ways you've got to kind of launch badly to stop it doing weird things and there's always the risk of it suddenly deciding suddenly finding enough grip to do a wheelie further down the run and spitting you into the trees. It's not what you want. So you've got to balance things very, very carefully. But you would imagine in a vehicle like this one that that probably is what you would have to do. And we've not balanced it here because we're going to just show our underbelly to everything. And I'm not going to be able to recover this. We are really all over the place. The, the, <laughs> the Mamba even gave us a chance. The Mamba had a shocking shift in all of that as well. And that's when you get things wrong. I knew I had to go quickly. And I was trying. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there. That's it. It can stay there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I knew I had to try and get that one right. I was, I got a perfect, perfect launch, like a perfect reaction time to the flare, but I was using a fraction too much power, and, well, there we go. The stubby June loader, everybody, as crazy as you would, as you would want it to be. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.